This is part two of a three-part series where I'm showing making the bow I've named Guidel Cane. Today I'll be showing the roughing in the shape of the bow stave, um, carving in the riser, and taking off a lot of material on the bow limbs until the point where we can floor tiller this bow. So here I'm using the draw knife to take the wood down to the width of the back of the bow that I want. Look at that, how I built a boat around this knot. But that's just following the grain of the wood. So, and then it wants to cut back in after that knot. So that's an area that's going to be difficult. While working with this limb, the wood grain dipped in to make the limb thinner than I'd wanted. Ooh. Shoot. That'll be the problem. I can already see it. All right. So what we got here, I'll try to show the camera. I really feel like the upper limb is the crooked one. If you look from midpoint to the back of the bow, it's relatively straight. But I do need to kick the closer limb to the left. So I'm probably going to heat the bow right in the lower aspect of the handle. I'm going to clamp it and try to get this a little straighter. So I'm going to start with the uh, cooking oil. This keeps my wood from getting too hot. And it distributes the heat better. So I'm heating the wood from here to here. One thing you definitely want to do before you really take off heating your wood. You definitely want all your things set up. Before you begin the heating process. Bring my two by fours. We need to cut this video. Finally, I have my wood clamped correctly where the tips are both in alignment and the handle is in alignment with the tips. You can begin heating your wood once everything is set up perfectly. Heat the oiled area of the wood only and keep the heat gun moving. I heated this piece of wood about 20 minutes solid because it's so thick. Here's me showing uh, the alignment I've created tip to tip with the handle. I depressed the handle just a little bit past perfect alignment because wood sometimes springs back once you take the clamp off. After letting it cool for about two hours, I took it out of the clamp and checked how well the bend held. So this is it out of the clamp. It looks like it's in very good alignment still. Uh, you can see tip to tip and handle all in relatively straight alignment. Very good alignment. All right, time to remove some material. So this is the shape that I'm after now. You see this? This has been my handle. I'm going to take all the way down to there, both sides. And I'm going to aggressively take this off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. Using the draw knife, you can take the chunk of wood that you've sawn down into and use the natural grain of the wood to split off large chunks of wood. 
So at first I used a draw knife using the blade to pull off wood. Basically, we want to get down to the dimensions of the limb we need. I start with about an inch and three quarters wide limb with a limb depth of about three quarters of an inch. Take this three quarters of an inch all the way out to the limb tip and narrow the limb tips up to about a half an inch. You can use the draw knife as a blade. Later on I usually turn it up and use it as a scraping device as seen here. At first you begin just trying to get the material down to the rough dimensions of the bow. However, later on in the process you will start doing something called floor tillering. Floor tillering. It's what I'm doing here. Flexing the bow, feeling uh, the stiffness of the wood, trying to make sure each limb is equally stiff, uh, top to bottom, and uh, observing for any stiff points okay, that can guide stiff. you in what areas need to have wood removed. There's my bow. This is where I'm probably going to have to stop today. This is about where we're at. So it's roughly the shape of a bow. Starting just now to bend. So. 